This request came from Wonders Tree, wanting to know how to get the AI to switch teams, which in this case means to stay on one side technically, when the round ends, for example, in One Flag CTF. Not gonna lie, this one was trying my brain simply due to how in between the rounds work, but I ended up nailing it, and I'm here to share it with you guys, so let's go. Okay, for map setup, we don't really have anything other than AI spawner here. Uh, this is an objective stuff. Uh, I'm gonna eventually do videos on setting up objective modes, but since that's the example and not the topic, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just talk about what we have today. And that's setting up this AI stuff. So um, what we're gonna do is name it something that's related to what's going on. If you have multiple AI spawners, this should still work just fine. You'll just have to set up a way to respawn them all together. Uh, because I'm assuming that you want all of your AI to participate in this in your map, so you don't have to worry about squads all that much. So I have three elites set up, um, and that's pretty much the only thing other than team up here in gameplay. Make sure that team two is set up. If you want them to be on the team of the defenders of the flag, that is. If you want them to be on the team of attackers, I'll show you how to do that. It's just basically the flip of a switch. That's all it is, but we're going to do the defenders. So that's all the settings you have to change is make sure to name it something you'll remember that's related to what's going on and Team 2 Cobra because we're going to be pulling this into our node graph and that's the only thing we have to pull into the node graph. We're going to start with an event and it's a basic one called On Round Start. Put it right here. We're going to go ahead and go into AI and get Kill All Squads. There's a reason why we're doing that. Go into Logic. Grab wait for n seconds. We're gonna have to have these delays, by the way. These are 100% necessary. You just, you gotta have them. Or it's gonna break something. I've tried it without it and it doesn't work. Go ahead and plug it in like that. Make sure the delay is at something like a, a second. Something not too short, not too long. Uh, one second is fine. Uh, and then we're going to grab from AI, trigger AI spawner. If you have more than one AI spawner, this is where you would hook up a second node like this and uh, do it just for as many as you have, but we only have one. Do it like that. We're gonna add one more one second delay, so we can go ahead and just duplicate that and plug it in right here from the trigger AI spawner. Now we go down to logic again, and we grab for each object. There we go. And the objects we're going to be looking at is get all AI units. So yeah, all AI units in your map, because like I said, I'm assuming you want all of your AI to participate in this thing, so that's what we're doing. Now we're going to use get squad from AI unit. Then we're going to go to AI advanced and get squad team. Go ahead and plug AI, AI unit into current object and then the squad from that into the get squad team input. Next we're going to go to logic compare and grab compare teams. There we go. Plug team A into the team output. And team B is just uh, team one eagle, make sure it's team one. Now we're going to grab a branch and then we're gonna set up a trilogy or a trinity that is, uh, make sure the condition by the way is A equals B. Anyway, this is not one we usually set up, but we're going to this time because it really works. Declare Boolean variable. Go ahead and grab the, the get and set of each of them. We're gonna put the get down here and then set we're going to place up here. Okay, the information is uh, T1 ally. Initial value, set it to false. Just to make sure everything's uniform, you'll see why we're doing that when I explain everything. This one, just make sure the identifiers are all the same. And uh, we're gonna set the first one to false because we're gonna duplicate this, we need two of them. And the second one's gonna be true. Top one false, bottom one true. If true from the branch goes to the first one and if false goes to this one. So basically if it's false, we're gonna do something with true. If it's true, we're gonna do something with false. It's uh, just uh, the opposites here. So this one's done. This one is, uh, this script is done. This first event of the script is done. Now we're gonna do our second event, which sets up how we're going to make them be on the right team. So we're gonna go to events custom and uh, every n seconds. And yeah, if I tried to explain this right now how it worked, it wouldn't make sense. And it not only would I not make sense, but I would also not make sense to myself and I would lose myself because I'm not very good at explaining it in the first place. But without the second part to guide me, I would be completely lost and kind of get confusing on you guys. So let's go ahead and get every n seconds and set these seconds to one and no delay. 
we're going to uh, we'll we'll do the information on that in a minute when we need it. We're going to duplicate these three nodes right here. Get squad from unit, get all units, and for each object. Go ahead and duplicate those. We're going to slide these down here, and make sure that uh, we plug it in like this, just like that, and then just rearrange everything so that way it's not all spaghettified. There we go. We're going to grab a branch here, duplicate that, drag it on down. Plug it in, for, uh, execute per object. That's when we're going to use our get boolean variable node, and just go ahead and plug, you know, type everything in like you're supposed to. Team one ally, scope local. Plug the value into the condition. It's going to do something based on what is set up here. Lastly, we're going to need a events or no uh, AI advanced, and it is a assigned squad to team. And we're going to duplicate this because we're going to need two of them. Because just like earlier, we're going to plug if true into the top one, if false into the bottom one. Just go ahead and drag squad into the squad that we duplicated earlier. That node. There you go. The team. Make sure the top one that is true is set to team one eagle, and then it, the false is set to team two cobra. And that's it. This will do what you want. And I'm going to try to explain it here. And if I sound confusing, I'm sorry. I'm just really not good at explaining this one in words. I know what I'm doing and I know it works. I just don't know how to explain it very well. Uh, but anyway, here here goes nothing. So basically, we're going to be acting as if the, the game start has a round that existed before it, even though it didn't. Because all of this information is technically basing it on what happened last round. The last round doesn't exist, but it doesn't mean we can't use information to act as if there was. That's why we have this set to team two instead of team one right here because you would think why would we want them on team two if team one is going to be defenders because yes team one will always be guaranteed to be the first team defending the flag in every game so that's why you're probably wondering why would we do that well that's because it's going to be like it's basing it off the previous round so at the game start it's going to say okay were they allied with team one or team two and if they weren't allied with team one then it's going to make them allied with team one because if we set this to team one then it would say okay they were allied with team one at the start of the round uh we need to make sure that they're allied with team two now and then it would be the exact opposite of the result that you want so that's why it works that way and if you want to make it to where they help the attackers instead you just move it to where your attacker spawns are and then switch the team to team one and just for safety switch this right here the initial value to, to true and that's the only thing you have to change at all if you want the side to change if you want them to be helping the attackers instead so obviously i can't test this in forge mode so we're going to go over here to custom games and load up a one fly ctf with some bots and see how it works all right so we started and you see round one even though we had to set to team two they're allied with us no team kill can't hurt them and then you got bots trying to shoot us, and then they're trying to shoot at our elites as well, and our elites are shooting at them. Now, I'm not going to lie, these bots are not going to cap this, and I could just switch teams and cap it for them, but if I switch teams, uh, it might get confusing on what's going on and what's what, and while you can switch teams and it will not break this or anything, I just want to make sure that everything goes together smoothly. So I'm going to step into the next room here. And we're just going to wait it out for three minutes. And I'll skip to the end of that, of course. And around about ten or less seconds left. And we'll go back in there to uh, make sure we see the round changing and all that good stuff. All right, we got ten seconds left. Let's head back in here. And they clearly did not cap at all because there's too many AI um, for the bots. I didn't have them on very high difficulty or anything because, you know, I just didn't feel like wasting the time. Here we go. Round one over. Now let's uh, spawn in. We're going to be down here. And now those elites are not going to be too happy with us. See? There are our enemies now. Along with these guys. I'm going to go ahead and cap this. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to go ahead and cap this real quick. Go ahead and start a new round. And you'll see that the elites will be on our team after that. Go ahead and pop that in there. Wow, they are lighting me up. Okay, next round. We're going to be at the top this time because we're the defenders of the flag. And because of that, let's take a look. We have friendlies. They are on our team. So yes, this is the way to get them to stay on the specific team of attackers or defenders, uh, depending on how you have it set up. Finally got that out of the way. Now you can have AI to help guard your flag from invaders, no matter who you are, as long as you defend the flag. Think of it like the AI is allied to the flag and not the player. 
I have a small announcement for those who may notice in the coming days, but I usually record my videos a day or two ahead of time. So this video, while recorded before Thanksgiving, will be uploaded that day, but after that I'm going to take a small break for the holiday weekend. This will give me some more time to spend with family, but also let me kind of graze over the different comments and see what kind of things you guys need help with so I can build up content plans for the coming week. So I would expect the next video come Monday or Tuesday. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you soon after.